And what we've got to do is set this up for 45 degrees. This is quite a handy gadget. It's a Novex Square. They come in different sizes and they'll actually click to the angle. So if you, you can use one of these or a, or a larger version of a combination square. If that's 45 degrees in there with this block, have it hanging over a bit and then just seat it into that cut you just made and score a line on the other side of that piece. And the same with the chisel, just mark up that edge. I would come down about a quarter of an inch to get your marking gauge and set it at about six mil. Mark your six mil. Take a Japanese saw and cut down to these two marks on those lines. So once that's been done, now what we've got to do is remove the stock from inside here and just pare it out. Now Bob's left again. You know, I wish he'd learn how to shut doors. Bob, shut the door. And oh, now he's come back in again. Now what do you want to do? He's lost. He heard noise in the kitchen and he thought food was on. You get halfway. And then you're going to have to turn it around and come back this way. Another option is if you've got a hand router, if you have all the methods, I would prefer this one. It just means you have to invest in one. Now this is a, a new one. This is a Veritas, but you can pick them up online. There's a Stanley 71s and 71s and a half, and I think record do a 070. And uh, they were at one stage, they were pretty, pretty reasonable, but now they're getting fairly close to the price of a new one. And if I had the choice of buying uh, an older one or a new one, in this case, I would go for the new one because I think these for the steel and the castings and uh, the ergonomics of it, they're far more comfortable than the other ones, but the other ones work fine as well. And you know, you never know, you might find one in a shed somewhere or a garage sale or yard sale. Now I'm taking it down to the line, but I'm also going so I get a nice clear piece of birch showing through. Uh, because if you get too precise and go right on the line, it might have the glue area like this. And I don't know. For aesthetics, it doesn't make any difference, but aesthetically, it looks nicer if you've got a clean base there. Now just sharpen up those edges. And me, it's all nice and smooth and crisp. Now get the wedge with your straight edge on this 45 side. Put it in, give it a tap. Send it home, double check the angle, make sure we're spot on, which it is. Now we've got to take this portion off here. You sort of draw that by eye. Cut it off so it hangs over just a little bit from the main deck. Can go in the big bin. Okie dokie, we've almost finished. Let's knock this out. And 
now it's got a little bit slack there and left that over, so we'll knock that off. Cut it off as flush as you can. So where I'm going to put the stop for this one is I'm using another piece of plywood and I'm going to run it along my bench just like that. So whilst I've got that angle there, what I'll do is get a hot glue gun. These are absolutely wonderful. I hadn't seen them before. I noticed one the other day and just had to grab it. It's a cordless glue gun. Uh, Bosch make it. It takes the smaller glue sticks, not the larger ones, but the thing I like about it is it being battery operated, I don't have to have extra cords around here. And it's uh, compact, it works. Um, I don't know how many uses I'll get out of it before I have to recharge it. But there you go. Just another great innovation for the us poor people that are stuck inside doing woodwork and we've got limited space battery operated glue gun and it's starting to drop glue already that's how quickly it glues up now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple of beads along here and it goes off pretty quick which is good and I'm going to put that up against the bench like that and just hold it up against my board and for a couple of seconds and yeah that's it now I can turn that over. And there's another bit of Bosch gear. And if you think Bosch sponsor me, no, they don't. But I just think some of their tools are uh, pretty darn good. In fact, I did buy a lot of Bosch gear. We, uh, in Australia, we had a company called Masters. Uh, unfortunately, they've closed with a big hardware um, department store sort of thing and when they close they had some ridiculous discounts so yeah I loaded up on a lot of Bosch gear so my sons have battery for power tools coming for the next I don't know how long for birthdays and Christmas and what have you but they never go astray now where's the screws same thing 30 by 8 because the last thing you want is a screw coming through here and damaging the cheek of your plane. Um, I said Bosch don't sponsor me, but if anyone from Bosch is watching, I'm open to suggestions. All right, now, that's going to sit where I want it. Japanese saw again. And I'm just going to cut these off and cut it off a little bit wider so I don't want it exactly parallel with this or, or uh, flush with this. I want it a little bit fatter and I'll take the rest off with a plane later. I'll just flush this off and pop that in the vise. Might as well use the plane we're using. Just get rid of this stuff for a second. Turn that off. With a candle. And there you have a shooting board that will do 45s and 90s. Couple of refinements that have to be done. 